there's a point, 7,000 RPM, where everything fades. The machine becomes weightless, just disappears. And all that's left is a body moving through space and time. 7,000 RPM. That's where you meet it. You feel it coming. Creeps up on you close in your ear. All right, guys. First day of sick week. Here with Zach. He's my co-driver for the week. As you've seen on previous race weeks, my cousin Ben was with me, but he's got to work. And so what better person to bring than Zach? He can tune, he can work on cars, he works at Garrett's shop. So I'm excited to have him along this week and he's a great guy. Well, we got the car here. We got Ruby and the Marauder and Mullet. And we're gonna go get this car set up to start making some passes. All right, y'all, we're in the lanes. We are in the B group. The A group is for cars that are running faster than 850. And I am in the class that's running between 850 and 10.0. You can see I've been keeping tallies. How many Dr. Peppers we're drinking on Sick Week? We're already up to 10. This includes the Dr. Peppers drink between Zach and I and yesterday from Tech In. Got the new Dr. Parker logo on here. And uh, tune's ready. We're, we're waiting our turn. As far as the tune goes for this car, we were running about 13 pounds when I did that 8-2 pass. And since I let out and pulled the chute about 200 feet before the quarter, we ramped it from only 5 pounds to 6 pounds of boost on this pass. And, uh, you know, turned it down quite a bit. So we'll see how that does. We got the car ready. And uh, she's looking spicy. So the M's got her looking good. We got our checklist written on the back window. These are all the things we have to get done every time we come to a track. So excited to ride them out, make sure we don't miss anything. Pins out of the parachute. We're looking good. Probably the most prepared we've ever been. Really bringing the heat on me with that 853, dude. Hey, applying the pressure, dude. Applying the pressure right off the bat. What are you going to do? So I know you went an 829. Went an 829. Like 14 pounds. So what's your strategy? Our ramp is from 5 to 6 pounds. Okay. Solid. You're, you're pretty much tuned too, right? I didn't touch the tune up on that one. I just drove the car to go from a 6. I know, but when you guys first. Oh, we had the boost controller off. We yeah. just have our. Our boost controller is only doing our leaf. It's controlling our boost on the trans brake. After that, on? it shuts off 4.5 pounds. Yeah, I'm leaving on 5 at 3,800. Uh, it's making 7 down track. Yeah. 7 ish pounds. Okay, so we're, so pretty, so we're pretty close. You'll be right there. Yeah, because I'm leaving on 5 at 3,800 mm -hmm. RPM. You probably have some more RPM in it, though, don't you? Yeah, I'm at 4,100. Yeah, it's probably easier to do with more weight in the rear, like you got. So, all right, let's do this. All right, Parker's first run at Sick Week. the line good but the car felt a little bit lazy down the hot top end of the track so let's get this shoot back in the car and we'll drive down and get our time slip all right so that was a 9-0 at 153 so we're just gonna have to go back and give it a little bit more dude. on that 9-0 pass we were running from five to six pounds of boost over the course of two seconds and then running out on six pounds for the rest of the pass now we're ramping from five to 11 pounds over the course of three seconds because when we were testing and ran that 8-2 we were ramping from five to 16 and that's gonna be way too fast for this so we're gonna see where this gets us it might be faster than an 8-5 i would be surprised if it's not really close this is all the changes we're making to the car is really just on the tune and the boost ramp so we'll see what it does
I think I might have gone faster than 850 because we did a 90 and it was freight training. I mean, I tell you, this car is a ripper. All right, let's get this shoot in and go check our time. Are you kidding me at 849.8? Oh, we're right there. Oh my God. 849.8 at 159. 849 come on that close now now we got to go and we'll probably just take a little bit of timing out of it maybe take a degree out in the center because that was so close but now we can't even turn in that slip because we broke out so we're gonna go hurry up get the car ready see if we can get it another pass maybe keep the boost the same add a degree take a degree of timing and see if we can get it 850s Dude, just gotta give her a little uh, yeah. So maybe even shift, try and shift it like 100 RPM sooner, 50 RPM oh, I can, sooner. I can, I'm not that quick, but yeah, I can do a little butt blab. Yeah, just give her a little burp, burp. It'll be hotter. 849. Eight. We gotta get this thing ready. <laughs> That's crazy. Let me see. 160 foot. 131. Super soft, dude. Super soft. That's good for games, though. Oh, yeah, it's good for everyone. Dude. You shouldn't have to touch this thing. You just... You're so, going. Uh, conservative right now I feel like we can't break it yeah. all right Friday though <laughs> turn it. Turn we're it going up. sevens <laughs> we'll get this thing ready fueled up tires dialed cool down get it ready gotta do another hit huh yeah <laughs> 849 I know I came over for 20 minutes to eat lunch and watch a couple of races and I watched Parker break out it's like god dang yeah <laughs> Crazy. All right, guys, I really don't want to have to curse us with this deal, but we we're looking at data logs, and there's a ton of data logs on that SD card, so we're not really sure how accurate it is, but oil pressure's dropping really low at the end, very end of the pass. Otherwise, it's okay. So we went ahead and changed the oil now. With that being said, I've been running the car on pump gas with an ethanol tune, so it runs super rich. I'm talking like eight or nine air to fuel. So there's a lot of fuel in the oil, thinning it out, making the oil pressure low. So we went ahead and changed it, put that new Valvoline, uh, you know, what is it? VR1 2050 yeah. weight. VR1 2050, and uh, you could oil pressure looks good. 93 in it. Yeah, you could definitely say it again. You could definitely smell the 93, and it. it wasn't it wasn't E90 by any means. You right. could clearly smell that. All right, so first oil change of the trip. Not We're a bad. Doing. Not a bad thing. No, it's not a bad thing at all. Well, Jamie, I hate to see it, but at least you're going to back up. We're not going to make it, though. You're not going to make it? No, no, we're just, we're out of time. The stage lane. To make it pass? Forward. You're still going to drive, or are you going to? No, we're probably just going to load it up, kind of regroup. Okay. All right. Well, get a little more, get a little more street driving and a little more testing in it. Well, we could always expect you for a full send. Yeah. We gotta yeah, that was 80 pounds out. of boost in a burnout. That's a lot. That that's is. too much. That's not what we wanted. No. All right. We've been strategizing on what to do for this pass to make it an 8.5. Do I shift early? Do I pull the chute early? Do I blip the throttle? Do I hit the brakes? Do I let out early? We got our inspiration from Ford versus Ferrari, Carroll Shelby. Roll the clip. There's a point, 7,000 RPM, where everything fades. The machine becomes weightless just disappears and all that's left is a body moving through space and time 7,000 RPM that's where you meet it you feel it coming creeps up on you close in your ear
Hey, we can go with that. Cars loaded up. Dr. Pepper, we got Mullet, Marauders over there. We're gonna go get some fuel and we gotta drive to Orlando. So we got two checkpoints, I think. Feeling pretty good about today. You know, we made three passes. We did a 90, we did an 8498. God, we were so close. And then their third pass, we did an 854. So pretty We know of two other cars that have gone 850. Not confirmed, I haven't actually seen the list yet, but. This competition is so steep, and uh, we're happy to be, you know, in the thick of it. We're hopefully top five. And we'll see how it goes. We're excited. We're doing well. The car's doing well, and it's time to get on the road. All right, I want to show you guys a little update on the trans and the gear vendor of this thing. So, first, second, and then the gear vendor's on a relay over here, and that brings our RPMs way down when we're cruising. I mean absolute game changer for this car. I bet this thing drops by 30% in RPM. I mean, it's amazing. Additionally, we got lights on a switch as well. Got a little LED strip going on up here. So nice. It is so nice. So nice. Getting this car just really, really right for these drag and drive events. As a fellow car guy, I know it's super easy to forget to take care of yourself, especially when you're at the track, we're all drinking Mountain Dew and Dr. Pepper. This toothbrush is only $39. It's a great electric toothbrush. That's what I use every day. Normally they're $59, but if you click the link in the description below or use my coupon code QDNASK, you can get this toothbrush for only 39 bucks. Buy one for yourself, your girlfriend, whoever. They are an awesome toothbrush. It's basically the same thing as a Sonicare except a tenth of the price. So go get one. They send you a new brush at every three months so you don't have to worry about it. It's a great deal.